Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. It's a Thanksgiving card that I made using my Big Shot, and I'd like to show you how to make it at home. I'm going to start with a piece of very vanilla cardstock. I have uh, cut it at eight and a half by five and a half, and then I put it on my Simply Scored and scored it at the four and a quarter mark, and that's going to make my card front. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in a piece of summer star fruit cardstock and I'm going to add some snail adhesive to it and it's going to be the layer on the front of my card, one of the many layers on the front of my card. Just adjust it a little bit. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of soft suede. It's going to be another layer on my card. And I'm going to use my wood grain embossing folder and emboss the layer. So I've got my platform on tab one. I've got my bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put my soft suede cardstock inside the wood grain folder. I'm going to put my top standard cutting pad on. And then I'm going to run it through the big shot to create the wood grain layer. Right. There we go, and that is going to be the next layer on my card front. So let me put some snail adhesive on the back of it. like so. Now the next thing I have is a piece of Comfort Cafe Designer Series paper. It's just a leftover scrap piece and I have a couple of pieces of Cajun Craze which is one of the colors in the Designer Series paper and I'm going to add that as a layer as well. When you're attaching some strips as a layer, put your adhesive on the larger piece and then line up your strip underneath it and then lay it down. It's much easier than trying to adhere or put adhesive on a strip and then tuck it under. Put your adhesive on the larger piece. You just need a couple of spots of adhesive on it. And then line it up. There we go. And then it's easy to turn the whole thing over. Put some adhesive across the back of it and then bring in your card front and add your layer to it like so. All right the next thing I want to do is create some uh, like an embellishment for the front of the card and I'm going to do that by using my Autumn Accents Bigs die complete with cat hair. There we go. All right and I have a piece of scrap um, Cajun Craze cardstock that's just the right size to fit over the leaf that's sort of like a maple leaf shape. So your layer for a Bigs die is a little bit different or your sandwich is a little bit different. You're going to put your bottom standard cutting pad, your Bigs die with your cardstock on top, and then your top standard cutting pad. You don't use a platform for the Bigs dies because they're Bigs, huh? All right, run it through, and that will create the leaf layer that I want to use as an embellishment on the front of my card. Now, the layer as itself is okay looking, but I'd like to add a little bit of vintage detail or weather it a little bit, and what you're going to do is just crumple it up, open it up, and then crumple it up a different way and then open it up and then it's got sort of wrinkle lines or fold lines all over it which is what you want. I'm going to bring in my soft suede classic ink and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe the classic ink over top of my leaf and it's going to pick up ink on the sort of the wrinkle marks 
which ages it and gives it a little bit more definition. Then what I'm going to do is bring in a scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock and my two and a half inch circle punch. Punch a circle. And that's going to be a backdrop for my leaf. I'm going to adhere the circle to the card front somewhat towards the top a little bit because I want to leave room for a phrase underneath. Then I'm going to bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals and put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of the leaf. I'll put one at the top. And then I'm going to adhere the leaf to the card front. I'm going to angle it just a little bit, like so. Then the last thing I want to do is bring in a scrap, another scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock. I love to keep my scraps from the here we go. The teeny tiny wishes stamp set. I use this a lot. It's got so many great phrases in it. There's a happy Thanksgiving stamp. So I'm going to ink it up using soft suede. Or I could have inked it up using Cajun Craze. I used Cajun Craze in my first example that I showed you. And let's switch it up a little bit and use soft suede on this one. There we go. I'm going to punch it out using my word window punch. And then I need a piece of, sca of scrap Cajun Craze cardstock that I'm going to punch out using the modern label punch. I don't see that I have a piece ready and waiting. So let me bring in my example here. You can see that I stamped using Cajun Craze on my original card and then had a corresponding piece of Cajun Craze cardstock with using the modern label punch that I punched out and adhered that together and then adhered it on the front of my card. And then the last thing I did was I brought in some of my Regal's Designer Collection buttons and inside there are these marvelous little buttons. This one um, almost looks like it's the same as the Summer Starfruit. It's actually not, but it works well enough for this example. And I have some linen thread and a darning needle. And I always attach my darning needle to the package so that it's ready to go. I've threaded it so you don't have to take the time to watch me thread a needle. I'm going to poke it down through the button back up the other side, take the needle off of the linen thread, and then I'm going to tie myself a knot, and then I'm going to attach the button to the front of the card using a mini glue dot, so that you end up with a finished card that looks like that. For a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements for the cardstock layers, please hop on over to my blog, www.nuts N-U-T-Z about stamping.com. You do not want to miss my blog announcements that are happening Monday morning. Stampin' Up! has announced 10 days of online sales that are awesome. Some are one day only. Some are going to happen over the course of the 10 days. This is a great time to sign up and join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator. Whether you're a hobby demo and just want the permanent discount for yourself, or if you want to build a business like I have, it's your choice because it's your business and you can build it your way. But watch for my blog announcements, and if you have any questions or would like to place an order, please contact me, and I'll be happy to help you do so. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.